So remember today, we're cooking out of the big book of Korean cooking. And we're actually making soy butter pan grilled chicken. There's a little bit about the dish itself. Here are the ingredients, the instructions. And let's go back here to the back side to finish up the recipe. And hopefully, ours will look something like this. So here we have one pound of chicken thighs boned and scored. So here's what a chicken thigh looks like in case you don't know. Here's the skin off of the chicken thigh. In case you don't know. I'm going to be saving this. These are the bones. I'm going to be saving those for a different dish. Different dish. And here's my scored and deboned chicken thighs. So here we have two cloves of garlic being minced. Now we have one scallion chopped. These are my favorite types of onion. I hate onions, but I like these. Oh my goodness. Alright, so now we're going to add two tablespoons of rice vinegar and or one tablespoon of sugar. And today, we don't have any rice syrup, so we're going to use one tablespoon of brown sugar. You can use white sugar, but we actually just like brown sugar. Alright, so now we're ready to add our two tablespoons of soy sauce. One... So now it's time to add one fourth teaspoon of a ground black pepper. So that's our one fourth teaspoon of ground pepper. All right, now we're going to add one tablespoon of butter. And this is already softened butter. Because if you didn't know it, soy sauce and butter make a great combination. Mm. Now my personal assistant is going to take that spoon and stir all of our ingredients together. Very nice, very nice, my, my assistant. So our next step is we're gonna take our ingredients here and our chicken here. We're gonna combine them in this bowl and stir it up and get a good coating all over this beautiful chicken. And then we're going to put uh, saran wrap on it and I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and let it really marinate. Everybody tell my assistant that she's doing a fantastic job today. I'm not the one who's cutting the chicken. <laughs> or the right corner. Are you jealous of how well I cut the That's chicken? It? That's it? Yeah, you gotta blend all of this. I know. All of this. You only have those three sides of chicken? Yeah, that's it. I said one pound. We're using one pound of chicken. It's only two That of doesn't us. look like a pound. It's a pound. I weighed it. 
I weighed every ounce of it, even after I took the skin and the bone out. And it was exactly one pound. <laughs> Very nice. So it's going to go in the refrigerator, remember again, for 30 minutes. Medium heat. Water. All right, my friend. Okay. All right, my friend. Traditionally, we would throw this out on the outdoor barbecue grill. Is that oil? But it happens to be a cold and rainy day here. So we're going to use our good old fashioned wok on medium heat. We cook this beautiful chicken. And remember, I got a little extra here. I'm going to save this for a little bit. We're going to let this cook for about three to five minutes. We're going to try to only flip it once. Can you hear that? Can you smell? Ah, can you smell that beautiful smell? All right, my friends, we're going to Flip our chicken. Oh, look how beautiful that's looking. Spread out some of our onion and garlic, soy and butter. There we go. Another three to five minutes. Should be perfection. All right, all of you foodies out there. My goodness gracious, great balls of holy fire. Does this chicken not look good or what? I am telling you. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's cut it open and see. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Now, of course, remember, yes, you can compare this with rice. Absolutely. You could also pair it with a salad. Maybe some good old green beans. I don't know. Anything else you, your heart desire. All right. Let's try this. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, that is, just, oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. You guys are going to want to come over for dinner. <laughs> Hold it. <clears throat> This crap is really good. I mean, this is some good eating. Laura, like, you're going to love this. I mean, how can you, and, and we, and it's so tender, my goodness. And we had to cook this indoors, but a nice day, throw it out on the barbecue grill and let it, oh my goodness gracious. And what kind of chicken? Is I'm the greatest freaking cook in the world. You steal from the book. Well, I didn't steal from the book. I paid for the book, so I technically didn't steal. I read the recipe. What's the name? Uh, this is a um, soy butter garlic chicken. Is what this is called. Korean. Korean. It's the Korean book. Um, her name is I don't know. I, it's in the first part of the video. But yeah, it's the, the um, <clears throat> Korean Big Cookbook. Now, I'm going to cook a lot of the dishes from it this winter. Maybe even for Thanksgiving, I'll cook a Korean dish. Mm -hmm. There's also a Korean fruit salad versus a Filipino fruit salad. Really good. All right, guys. Mm. Come over for dinner anytime. I'll be happy to cook for you. But this is um, my new Korean chicken dish. I highly recommend you guys do it. The recipe is really simple. Prep is simple. Cooking it is easy and simple. But the freaking flavors are unfreaking believable. I mean, it is really good. You're going to like this. The seasoning you can find in your kitchen. Yeah, you can find the seasoning pretty much anywhere. 
You can go to the Asian store if you want, or just go to Walmart, wherever. But, um, all right, guys, I'm going to finish eating. We appreciate you, and keep it cooking.